We are at the halfway point to the season and it's brought us to this idyllic mountain bike location of Lenza Heide, Switzerland. We're about to embark on a really big block of racing and it's likely to dictate the outcome at the end of the year when it comes to the overall. So I know the racers are going to be wanting to put down a really strong start. And of course, that all starts with tonight's short track race. Much of the field have been training at altitude and tonight we'll find out whether it pays off. Switzerland has hosted Mountain Bike World Cup since the very first year in 1991 at six different venues. This will be the seventh time for Lenzerheide, but only the third short track race. The host nation has six representatives in the race, with the likes of Yolanda Neff, Sina Fry, and Alessandra Keller, all having a raucous home crowd behind them. Let's go racing in Lenza Hyde of the riders all seeming like they might have punched before the green there. Yeah, very uh, yeah, high adrenaline in their boys. <laughs> yeah. Olympic champion Yolanda Neff set the tone early, hitting the front on lap one. It was then Jenny Risved's turn to take the lead after Ramona Ficini, who was leading, crashed out. Luan and Lecombe stepped up next, coming off the back of a perfect weekend in Liagang in round four. Overall leader Rebecca McConnell was struggling to make an impression as Risveds took the lead once more. The Swede had won here last year and looked intent on repeating that achievement at the end of lap six and of course the beginning of lap seven. Her outstanding attack created a formidable gap to the chasing pack. A Swede with speed tonight for Jenny Rizved said, flying around this track. If anyone's got anything left, this is where it's going to be, but Keller setting a high pace then. But they couldn't get back to the Swedish athlete, who sealed her third win in the discipline and the second in Lenzerheide. Back to back short track World Cup wins then for Jenny Rizved in Lenzerheide. Keller comes up across the line to take a fantastic second place ahead of Yolanda I had no strategy, um, but I figured I was riding a little bit faster through that Rudy section over there, and I got a gap every lap, or not every lap, but a few laps. When I look back, I had a gap, so I, I figured I had to go. <laughs> Three Swiss riders make up the top 10 with two Italians and two French. McConnell lost valuable points for the overall with the Australian out of the top 10 for the first time this year. American Kate Corney recorded her best result of the season in seventh. A win means a significant jump in the overall standings for Jenny Risfeds, going from eighth to third as Alessandra Keller closes the gap on overall XCC leader Rebecca McConnell to 90 points. Last year, it was Brazilian Henrique Avancini who pipped Swiss home favourite Matthias Flukiger to the line. But could Flukiger, who was in great form and second in the cross-country short track World Cup standings, go one better this time around? Current XCC leader Luca Schwalzbauer would have a big say in that though, as he looked to increase his three-point lead at the top of the standings. A very fast start again here. Tito Akerol takes the lead. Schwalzbauer started with purpose. Fresh from his mechanical engineering exams, the German led the opening exchanges as the field thinned out. But it was clear that the Swiss riders were not going to roll over lightly. Felipe Colombo and Matthias Rüdiger taking the initiative, flanking every move from Schwarzbauer. A leading group emerged. Italian Luca Fredot was also amongst them, all jostling for position as the race turned tactical. Here comes Nino up the outside, the number one plate. Yeah, Luca Fredot now taking the lead, number 14. For last year's XTC World Cup winner, it was a bad day at the office. Brazilian Henrique Avancini struggled at the back. However, by lap eight, his teammate Alan Haverly was making moves. The South African, who has fond memories of this stop after winning the under-23 rainbow stripes in 2018, started testing the field. But was it too soon? 
As the peloton ramped up, the Swiss were out in full force. Colombo, Schurter and Flukiger all keeping in the fight. As they entered the final lap, Colombo led, but the gap was exceptionally close. Five riders, all of whom looked capable of going all the way. Turning into the final corner for the sprint, Cavalli opted for the inside line. Colombo held his position as Flukiger attacked around the outside. Schurter and Braydock in the melee, pushing hard. Colombo from Matthias Flukiger! It's going to be Philippe Colombo who takes the win here in Lenta Haider! Incredible! Felipe Colombo with his first short track win in front of a home crowd after a tough showing in Liagang. It doesn't get more special than that. Actually, it was super hard, the, the attack from, uh, from Matthias. And then I just tried to, to be in front and play a little bit tactics. And uh, I slowed down where, where I could, where I knew that uh, they couldn't overtake me. And then, uh, yeah, I know that I have quite a good sprint. And yeah, I just pushed till, till the end. Alan Haverly won better his result from 2021 with a third place finish. There are three Swiss in the top five, with Nino Schurter finishing fourth, Matthias Flukiger taking both second, and the XCC overall leader's jersey. I'm surprised actually uh, yeah, to have the Lisa jersey in, uh, in the short track discipline. Uh, it's pretty cool. And of course at home and the home World Cup, it's, uh, it's even more amazing. The overall standings are all change. Luca Schwalzbauer falls to third as Alan Haverly closed the gap on new leader Matthias Flukiger. Henrik Abensini drops out of the top five. And with that win, Filippo Colombo finds himself in fifth and is one of three Swiss in the top ten. Alan well, it was a great evening for the Swiss as we close out the Friday short track race. But of course, it's only the beginning of the weekend and there is so much more to come. So make sure you join us live on Red Bull TV at 10.45 when the women are going to kick us off on a big Sunday of cross-country Olympic distance racing. We will see you there.